What's up, Hans family? You guys like my sneaky snicks? Welcome to day 17 of Hansween. And Hansween is 31 tutorials in the month of October, which means a new video every day. This is my version of Medusa, turning bitches to stone with just a look of her white snake eyes. Meet two of my snakes, Oleg and Nigel. You guys know I love them hauntingly beautiful looks, so this is one of my favorites. As always, product details will be listed down below. Let's get to that shit. I like to start out by drawing a general guideline of how I want to do the makeup on Facetune just so that I have an idea before I sit down to film. We don't want our brows to show whatsoever, so I use the glue stick method to set these bad boys in place. Layer the glue about three times for full coverage and then set with powder. Though we will be filling up our whole forehead and most of our bald cap with wax, just so we have an idea of where the scales are going to lay on our face, sketch them out. I wanted larger scales around the forehead and then cascading down the sides of my face a bit. Also kept them more in a pattern of rows, getting smaller as I went around the sides of the face, keeping the focus red on the middle. We'll be using some good old wax to mold, and apply some prosate or spirit gum to the area you're going to mold on top of. Grab out some wax and use Vaseline on your fingers and spatula so the wax doesn't stick to you, because it's very sticky. Apply the wax and then smooth down the edges with your fingers or your spatula. I actually love working with wax other than the removal because it is such a bitch. To remove. It just gets everywhere, it's all over your hands, it's ugh. To keep these with more of a scale appearance and not just a circular mound coming off of our skin, smooth the edges down but make the top portion relatively flat. Instead of a full circle, have the edge protrude up and then even out. When working around the eyes, just try to keep the wax out of your eyelid because wax will get sticky again with the warmth of your skin and a lot of movement and you don't want that tacky feeling in your crease, no ma'am. I only went about halfway back on the bald cap just because we will be wearing a hood to cover the rest up, but if you want to wear this for Halloween and wear your hood down, have a friend help you to cover the entire head and scales. Continue cascading the scales down onto your face a bit so it's a nice transition from scales to skin. We don't want just the stark stop of scales to skin. With some white grease paint and a bit of foundation, I fill in my face, first off using my hand, then switching to a brush. Most of my brushes are dirty after all these days, as you can probably imagine, so a uh, girl's gotta make it work. Add color around the back of your bald cap too, and then a bit in between the scales, since that would be the actual exposed skin color. You can highlight a bit with a color a few shades lighter than the first original color you chose, which for me is straight up white. But if you have a darker skin tone, I would suggest just keeping with your natural skin tone and then going just a little lighter for the highlight. Set the living shit out of the wax. This will give it a nice even surface to work off of and keep it in place. For this look, our contour game gotta be on motherfucking point. Darken right underneath your cheekbones as you normally would, but also pull the color down along your mouth for a hollowed out effect. If you don't know exactly where to put the shadow, make a kissy face and the shape will appear along your mouth. Carve out that chin, or at least I'm going to, cause I gotta slim down the moon face. And with the same brown powder we use to contour our face, darken around the borders of the scales. Do this on top of the wax, but only focusing where that curve begins. This will show that the scale has dimension. Alcohol paints work amazingly on top of wax, so using my white alcohol paint, I apply it all over the top of the scales. This won't only highlight them, but will also bring them to be more of the idea I was looking for on the face. A light, pale base with some white-ass dimensional scales. The alcohol paints also started to look a little too intense next to the eyeshadow, so I mixed a few in my palette to get a brown shade and just went over those shadows a little bit. You can also use extra alcohol by itself to blend all the colors together on top. Our skin would be shadowed a bit by these bulbous scales, but the skin right under them would still be a bit light, since again this is our natural skin peeking through. Only the scales are the ones that would have dimension and shadow. Add a couple little rogue scales to add more of the cascading look and darken around those a bit as well. My collarbones and body weren't really matching up, so just contour in that little neck hole and around your collarbones. You could even continue some scales down onto your chest, whatever works for you in your costume. This look almost reminds me of my angel from last year, soft but also a little creepy. So I filled in the lips with Drug Lord from Jeffree Star, which is a liquid lipstick. It's perfect if you're wearing this out all night, but you also need to have the whitest teeth in the world, which I do not. To bring some interest into the lips, I added a dark brown line towards the center and continued that down the chin, blending that out as I went. 
added a bit of shadow still all around the lips for no rhyme or reason really, just because I thought it looked cool and gave a more exaggerated shape. Onto the eyes. I added brown all over the lids and a much darker brown around the outer edges. Even made my contour just a little more intense too. The contour and the scales to me are the entire look, so you want those to real pop out. Pop on some lashes and mascara. You could even paint these white if you like, but I liked them big and black. Then I just added some white cat eye contacts, perfect for our snake lady and this haunting beauty costume that I was going to use for a mummy, but again, worked for this. I hope you guys liked my version of Medusa. I just need an excuse to bring my little babies in for this one. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and make sure to use the hashtag Hanzaween if you want to show me your recreations and your work. Subscribe if you haven't already. I love the fuck out of you guys, and I'll just see you tomorrow. Oleg is like obsessed with getting in that sleeve. He's like, no! I <laughs> know. Contacts? Nope.